your son, Shelby, I did not know until today, he's a race car driver? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Look at that. Uh -huh. That's Shelby. Have you ever driven one of those? No. Well, why not? It looks fun. He could show you how, right? It looks like a toy, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. When he, when I first went to the Daytona Speedway and yeah. he was racing at Daytona, they, you know, they dropped that green flag and here they come racing around. And I was sitting there filming him and all I could see was his car and then underneath the helmet was this little bitty baby oh. face, you know? It just broke my heart. Oh. I was like, oh. So I went over and I sat down. I was about to pass out, and Carolyn, my tour manager, came over and said, are you all right? And I said, oh my gosh, give me a second. <laughs> and then I watched the rest of the race. It was all right. I don't know. That's pretty. I know. It's I know. Your heart. Yeah. I know. But did you see the picture while ago of my grandson? Let me see. Put the baby back up. Mm -hmm. you there he is. Oh, oh, look at him. It's a baby. That's my grandson, so, Watson. You, oh, Watson smart, is adorable. Smart as well, he yes, can be. Well, yes, his name's Watson. Yeah. Dad oh, just love him. I love him. He's Corgis. so cute. Because they're short. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. So I get them. Oh, you know, I funny. didn't know until this morning that um, my niece, Jessica, has something in common with you. What's I did that? not know you were a barrel racer. Oh, yeah. That means she's a hell of a rider, by the way. A barrel racing is a horse involved <laughs> sport, not a. <laughs> it's a not sport. like rolling barrels. Yeah, down we, didn't, the hill. we didn't do that. <laughs> what you do is it's a sport and rodeo. You've got three barrels out in the arena, yep. kind of in a triangle, and you go around in a clover leaf pattern. It's really cool. Timed event. If you knock over a barrel, you get an additional five seconds, which is not good. I wasn't that good, but I had the best time. Yeah, at my it. niece loves it. Yeah. I grew up near one of the oldest rodeos in America at, at the um, Painted Pony up in Lake Luzerne, New York. No I, I still live there. I, I didn't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, uh, are you a speed demon behind the wheel of a no. car, too? No. Oh, I drive like a granny. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, no, I, I don't drive so fast. So it must really freak you out that your baby goes that fast. I don't know where he got it. I mean, he was, I thought he was going to stay in the music business. Yeah, and yeah. then one day he, was, he came home from college his freshman year, and he said, I don't want to come home. I said, He's what do you mean? He's got the need for speed. I said, I don't like college. I said, oh, who doesn't like college? I had the <laughs> best time of my life in college. And he said, no, I want to be a race car driver. And I said, who are you? <laughs> I said, I don't understand. And what understand did you do with my son? That. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Bring him back. And so I bribed him. I said, if you will finish the year, I'll send you. He, I, he told me about the Bondurant Racing School in Phoenix. Right. I said, I'll send you that. And we'll see if you got any talent. Any, any st stuff. Right. Yeah, and he did. Wow. Yeah. So, so we he was just knew. Mm -hmm. He had like a little inner voice. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Really makes you believe in his soul that people are just oh. born with that thing. To do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So, uh, 15 times, why would you take the same gig 15 times? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bored. Bored. <laughs> Is it weird to host a show when you know everybody that's nominated and everybody in the show? No, it's pretty good. It's yeah, more fun. because you're rooting for everybody. I'm rooting for everybody. And that's what everybody said. Who do you think's gonna win in this one? I, I can't say in that category who's gonna win. They're all my friends. I'm, I'm pulling for all of them. See, and I would, but I still, even if I was hanging out with my friends and it was super fun night and all that, I would never take that gig because you have to change too much. Oh yeah, five or six times. Oof. It used to be fun the first year I did it. <laughs> and you do it once, then you gotta do it again. And then they expect more and more and more. And I never want to disappoint my fans. So. Uh, that's the hardest part of doing an awards show is finding it's the, the changes, clothes. changes, right? Yeah. So they said, uh, do you want to do it? And I said, let me talk to my stylist first. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, we can do it. I'll do it. Oh. There you go. You know, it just occurred to me, you probably have as many ACMs as you have hosted it. How many do you have? <laughs> do you uh, even know? No. Do you even know? Do you know what your total count is for Grammys and ACMs? Where no. do you keep them? Do you have like a warehouse? No, no, no I keep real. them where I can see them. Yeah. Yeah, I've got them. Is that a, like a wing? <laughs> no, that, was that was that the Grammy for the gospel uh -huh. album? That was, yeah. Do you even know how many Grammys you got? Three. Okay, good. Yeah. That's countable. <laughs>